Okay, good evening, welcome to... Okay, I'm at number 697. Well, good morning, actually, I suppose. Um, so, uh, we started a new chapter in your pre-calculus book um, that talked about um, trig functions, right? Sines yeah. and cosines. Uh, what was the definition of cosine? So, cosine was the x-coordinate of an angle when you put that angle inside a circle. So, if you have, like, a circle and you have two radii making an angle, mm -hmm. the x-coordinate of the radii. Okay, yeah, that's not a bad definition after after learning trig for one full day. Uh, but there's an alternate way we can define uh, sine and cosine, and we'll get to that in your trig book, but I just wanted to show you some pictures today because it's kind of fun. A cosine we can think of as a function, so y equals cosine x, uh, and that get, that's um, a picture of it from 0 to 10 pi. Or if I wanted to shorten that up a little bit, I could go from 0 to, say, I don't know, 6 pi. 6 pi is about 20. Right? So what, describe to me what you see in this well, function. What, do you, what, what, does that, what are some words that you would use to describe that? It seems like it's um, s sort of symmetrical below the axis here. Uh -huh. So it goes up and down. And these shapes are the same, so just sort of like you're taking these shapes and then you're just like building them, putting them together. Yeah. Okay. What do you What do you see? What are some words that come to mind looking at this? Well, it's very symmetrical. Like we've got this one repeated sort of wave. Okay. It's just a bunch. There's always the same high point and low point. There's no variation. All right. Yeah, that's interesting. So that's um. That's actually a great description of um, of cosine from both of you. It's 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 repeating. It's symmetric. It looks like a wave. And the I guess the low points look like it's odd numbers times pi, and the high points look like it's even numbers times pi. Oh, what what makes you say that? Well, like this one is a little more than three. That's three right there. Okay. This one's a little more than six. That's yeah. six right there. Yeah. And then this one's sort of right before 10. Yeah, it's a great observation. Um, yeah, very good. And uh, you can actually make really neat pictures by uh, just combining uh, cosines together. So this is all my cosine 2x plus cosine 3x. I always forget if you have to put the times in. I don't think you do. Mm. So how would you describe that? Well, now it's not... There's a sort of like two shapes. There's this sort of up, down to the axis, then up a little bit, and down. This one goes up and then down again. Yeah. What, what do you see? Is this a surprising shape? Just combining two two things that we thought were waves. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this is this is kind of um, the uh, the basic definition of cosine as being the x-coordinate of an angle in the unit circle yeah. is fine. That's a good definition of it. But the reason sine and cosine functions are important is they help you describe waves. And the surprising thing is anything that has this any repeating pattern, even a complicated one like this, can be broken down into sines and cosines. And the neat thing is, is we can do something similar in three dimensions. So uh, here's a very complicated plot of uh, something in three dimensions. So the x-coordinate is going to be cosine t plus sine of 2t. The y-coordinate is going to be sine of 3t plus cosine of 2t. The z-coordinate is going to be cosine of 5t. So I just made up something crazy here. So let's see what this looks like. Uh, oh, and then this plot style tube. I'll make the tubes a little smaller because this might be big. The tube just makes it a little thicker so you can see it. Hmm. Mm, so it's, it almost looks like a knot. Yeah. It's like a... Hmm, sort of like a three-dimensional knot. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty interesting shape. Yeah. So I 3D printed a shape like this. Um, but So we're going to study uh, the shadows of that, sort of similar to what we did with Henry Segerman. Yep. And uh, then I'm going to have each of you create your own little 3D print like this after playing for a little while. And then uh, maybe we'll 3D print yours and then talk about them later today.
Alright. Okay. okay, so let's look at the one I, I made and um, uh, then we'll, uh, we'll look at the shadows.